everyone, my name is Shayla. I am from the main branch of CCPL, and today we're going to do a little fun holiday uh, recipe, and it's called Hot Chocolate Two Ways. And um, I know everybody loves to make hot chocolate um, during you know the holiday season, but I'm going to show you how to make it two very different and fun ways. So the first way we're going to do it is the regular homemade hot chocolate. So here are our ingredients. Of course, you will need um, some cocoa powder, some granulated sugar, of course your semi-sweet uh, chocolate chips, Um, two cups of milk. Don't know if you can see it right there, but it's in there. And some vanilla extract. And finally, for some decoration, some marshmallows. That's always good to have. As far as tools, you will need a whisk to um, mix everything together. You may also need like a little like rubber spatula to um, scoop everything into our soft pan, which I have right here. And you could use just some, this is like a medium size uh, saucepan. You don't need anything too big unless you're doing a couple of batches of this. And finally, you will need a mug, just a very nice, you know, mug to put everything in. So what we are going to do first is I've already, I'm going to go ahead and turn on my stove and then I'm going to put my two cups of milk into this pot and let it heat up and then I will start adding the other ingredients. So I will go ahead and do that and we'll be right back. Okay everyone, I am back and we have our milk nice and heated. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to put our sugar in there and our cocoa powder. Now we'll turn the heat down just a tad and we're going to go ahead and mix all of this up. And you just want to mix it up until it dissolves. So it shouldn't take that long to do. So want to make sure you're not burning your milk. It might take a minute or two to do this. Okay, we'll put this aside. Okay, it does look like it is already melted a good bit and the sugar should be dissolved by now. So what you're going to do now is you're going to take your chocolate chips. You're gonna pour all of that in there. And finally, you're gonna do your uh, vanilla extract and pour that in there as well. And you're going to continue to stir and make sure all of your chocolate chips will be melted. So this might take like a minute or two to do it just like slow just to make sure everything is incorporated. And you might want to continue stirring just a little bit. Just once again so you don't burn anything. You can see most of our chocolate chips are starting to melt or have melted. You just, once again, continue to, to stir it on very low heat. <laughs> That's very important. Okay, 
All right, I'm going to continue to stir this a little bit until all of our chocolate chips are nice and melted and I will come back with the final product. Okay, everybody, here is our final product. I will tip it slightly just to let you see the final product. There is, um, I put a little bit of marshmallows on top, obviously, and it is a nice, uh, rich um, chocolate. Nice, rich, and creamy for this. So that is our homemade hot chocolate. And now I did promise you hot chocolate two ways. The second way we are going to do our hot chocolate is matcha hot chocolate. It may sound funny to some of you, but it's going to be really, really good. And the star of our show here is going to be matcha tea powder. And matcha is basically uh, green tea leaves that have been grinded up and processed um, and nowadays this is just very popular to use with just with tea and you know a little bit of water just to make you know really nice tea you can also add your own sweeteners to it um, you usually can find this in the tea and uh, coffee section of your local grocery store or even your Asian market may have even like better uh, brands of matcha powder, but here it is. So we're going to use this. We are also going to use one and three fourths uh, cups of coconut milk, one cup of uh, regular whole milk, some white chocolate chips, a little bit of honey, and finally a little bit of salt just to kind of balance out the flavor. Okay, and also you'll probably need also um, a whisk and of course your saucepan right here. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to combine both of our milks, the coconut and the whole milk on our stove. And then from there we can add everything else in. Okay, I'm back and I have now combined both the coconut milk and the whole milk together and it is heating up very nicely. In fact, it's already you know, heated up with a little bit of a simmer. So now we are going to go ahead and put the rest of our ingredients in. We're going to put in, of course, our matcha. And then we're going to put in our white chocolate chips. And just kind of keep kind of stirring around the bit on very low heat. Okay, I'm gonna stop whisking that for a minute to put in our other two ingredients, our honey. And you may need a spatula for this because honey can be very hard to get out of the container. And there we go. And then finally, I'm going to put in our salt. Okay, and now we're going to mix all of that together. And nice, low, and slow. And so basically, like you did with the previous uh, recipe of the homemade hot chocolate, you're just combining everything in the saucepan until it melts. So you'll get a nice, creamy, rich uh, texture.
Okay, I'm going to continue to stir this and make sure everything is nice and melted and heated through. And I will come back with the final products um, on this and the hot chocolate two ways. Okay, everyone, here is our matcha hot chocolate. Turned out very well. Um, as you can see, a little bit right here that has that nice green tint that matcha um, gives off. And I added a little bit more of the of our uh, mini marshmallows to this. So really fun recipe. Now both of these recipes are going to be um, for our main branches um, adult take and make for the winter, which will be um, ornaments. So that should be a very fun activity for you to do. And you can also do make these um, hot chocolate recipes along with that. Just make it a very fun day for you and your family. Um, I hope you enjoyed you know, watching these recipes today, watching me make these recipes. I really had a great time doing them for you. And please stop by the library. We'd love to see you. would love to have you there. And my name is Shayla once again, and we will hope to see you soon at our library. Bye.